Oh, there they go. Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Before I got deep down the trail today to where I want to go, I wanted to check on those little baby alligators. There seems to be less of them down there now. I'm riding on a rail trail right now, and it goes straight down to the Sabine River. It goes right through the river bottoms. We're not going to go as far as the Sabine, but we're going pretty far. And I'm not sure what we're going to find down here. We did have a lot of severe weather last night and early this morning. Not sure how much rain we got, but there is some minor flooding going on. The river right now is only a little over 10 feet, so it's not real bad. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to fish some of the spots down here. It might be too high where we're going, but let's find out. We have chocolate milk here, but our crazy looking fishing pier is not underwater this time. It has been previously. Every time I come and look at this, it seems to be leaning more. One of these days, it's boom, it's going to be down in there. I mean, this is a crazy tilt. <laughs> I, I hope it doesn't go while I'm on it, but I don't think it will. We're going to try this spot for a good while today. It's still pretty early, just after 2 o'clock. I'm going to fish with cup bait. Both. Both lines are five aught. We're gonna start out with cup bait about that size, a small bait. And because there is current here and it's kind of strong, we're gonna use two ounces of lead on sinker slides. Put this one downstream and the next one somewhere else. Let's see if we can trust that. It's kind of a crazy angle. Almost kind of right out in front of me, but a slight angle to my right this time. Let's see if we can trust this one. Excuse the shakiness, guys. Whoa! I had the uh, camera, the chesty off, and this bite hit. Still good. Oh, it came off. Oh. Oh, there's promise for this spot. Still got bait. Well, hadn't even been out five minutes. Promise. Promising. Promising. So this is what you call a slough. It has a name. I don't remember what it is. There's a sign up here. We'll look at it later. It's like PNG or something. But this part of the slough is the widest part. And I would I judge it at about maybe eight feet or more out there right now and it does have catfish shoe pick and other things it's really dirty from all that rain so big fish would be difficult to land here maybe we'll land them through here we do have the landing net over here somewhere and this pier is really really shaky when you walk around on it i'm going to take my expensive stuff off of it in case something bad happens while we're here something's tap tapping on this coastal tough look at that giving us a slack line he's there let's wait for him to get serious in case this is a gar or a shoe pick. Well, that was nothing, but promising, promising, promising. Let's keep watching it. Spot number two coming up. I'm just gonna do one cup bait line here and then something else totally different. Okay. Maybe we won't do something totally different. What do we got here? I was busy trying to get a different rod going and this hit like right 
on the money spot. Oh, and it's not a channel cat. Look at that. A nice fat blue cat. Yeah, you're right. Come up. Decent. Decent. Maybe four pounder, five pounder. Can you guys see that? I wanted to see how far off my guesstimation is. He's a little over four pounds. Here we go. Sometimes moving just a bit makes a world of difference. We're not far from where we started but it is totally different water. It's where it goes narrow again. The water I was fishing is flowing through this culvert that we're standing on top of. This is where we're going to release our first catch. Yeah, you're right. All right, we got fresh bait now. Let's see if we can get another blue cat. I think that's about where I had it before, but that's good. Here we go. Well, we had a hit. Okay. You guys watch that for me. I'm gonna get this crappie line out of the way. You know, I'm not really feeling the crappie yet. Maybe in another hour, so. Let's put the other catfish line out. We'll put the tail on this one. Make sure the scales are off the tip. Here we go, fish number two. This spot is working out. Oh, what happened? Did you guys see that? All right, guys, this place that we're at today closes at sunset and we're on top of sunset. We're absolutely riding the clock out here because we're getting a bite on this coastal tough. So we're gonna slowly break down and watch this one line. I want to eke it out. I want to get a second fish up here. All right, guys, I've ridden the clock as much as I dare. And I'm going to say this, not great, but not bad for a chocolate milk day. There was a lot more action right here behind me than where I first started. I thought it was going to happen up there where I first started, but that was an uncomfortable position to be in. That pier is just not great, not great at all. So chocolate milk. Yeah, yeah, not great, not bad for chocolate milk, but I gotta get out of here now. So like, comment, share, all that great stuff. And I will see you next time.